Today is Wednesday, January 25. I'm Pastor Anthony, and this is Wilderness Wanderings. Today our text comes from Psalm 141. I call to you, Lord. Come quickly to me. Hear me when I call to you. May my prayer be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do not let my heart be drawn to what is evil, so that I take part in wicked deeds along with those who are evildoers. Do not let me eat their delicacies. That's Psalm 141, verses 1 through 4. This is a psalm that has often marked services of evening prayer throughout the history of the Christian church. Indeed, in the CRC's only example of a service of daily prayer, uh, as found in the newest red hymnal, the Lift Up Your Hearts hymnal, this is actually the psalm that's written in for that single service of evening prayer that's showed up in our tradition. The psalm is really quite general in terms of what it asks God for. It says things like, hear me, help me, guard my words, guard my heart, keep me from evil and from the evil of evildoers. These last petitions actually resonate, I think, with the Lord's Prayer, with the petition particularly of, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. While this prayer is general, though, there is also something quite deliberate and attentive about this psalm. It names our mouth, our hearts, our eyes, our actions. It is a psalm that desires wisdom and growth away from the ways of evil and toward the ways of righteousness. And it recognizes that we cannot do this alone, but need God's help if we're going to turn away from evil and toward the good. It's not enough to watch what we say. We actually need God's accountability and help to watch over the door of our lips. We need God's help to check us against the ever-restless desires of our hearts for the delicacies of any number of different appetites of relationship, body, status, or possession that may not quite be ours to enjoy. We know that salvation is not our doing, but neither is living in grateful response to that salvation gift that we have been given. There's a whole lot of Christian life and living that comes after the point of our salvation, which for a good number of us may have been the day we were born into the covenantal Christian community as infants. And we are equally dependent on God for living Christianly, as we were for becoming a Christian in the first place. Psalm 134, 141, therefore, is a good prayer for all of us. We need a good prayer for general, everyday life use. We need a Holy Spirit guard over our eyes and lips and hearts, day by day, against all the little sins the white lies and ordinary glancing temptations, so that our little eyes might be careful what they see, and our little tongues what they say, and our little hearts what they covet. So may God indeed do this daily work. May God keep us hungry for him and satisfied in him alone. May he keep our words pure and in step with the fruit of the Spirit in all situations. May he keep our eyes on the gifts that he's given us and off the gifts that he has given others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As you journey on, go with God's blessing. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors.